Alright, hello everyone. I am Sonia Dewing and today's video is brought to you by Plot Duckies and Tidal Wave Books Revised. And we basically had a flash fiction contest judged by the ladies from Tidal Wave Books Revised. And luckily I get to introduce you to the first story, Pig's Pageant. Lainey knew something was wrong when she heard the loud squeal from the swine barn. She tossed her half-eaten funnel cake, running past the sign, Pig Owners Only. Petal's pen was open. Petal was advancing slowly, staring and oinking at a pair of men. Lainey waved them away. What are you doing, opening her pen? Leave her alone. Petal was still wearing her daisy-covered bridle from the day's beauty pageant. Lainey grabbed onto it and did her best to pull her back, the heels of her keds digging into the dirt. I'm sorry, we've never seen a beauty pig before, one of the men said, and then they both broke out laughing, turned and walked away, leaving the reek of beer in their path. Jerk tourists, she whispered. The Hogsford, Pennsylvania pig beauty pageant and pumpkin festival brought them out in droves. After 10 years of doing this event, she'd be happy to be done and not deal with jerks like that. She took the lull in Petal's movements to rush back to the pen and grab a pig board. The other pigs were unaware of Petal's distress, except for Sir Pigsalot. The giant male pig watched from behind the iron bars like a prisoner, dying to get some action from his favorite girl. At least, Lainey was pretty sure he had a thing for Petal. Lainey placed the pig board in front of Petal. She used it to get the pig to turn around and head back to her pen. How did she get out? Came the familiar voice of the security guard. Then he was next to her, helping her get Petal behind the gate. She glared at him. Damn it, Max, where were you? You were supposed to be keeping an eye out for trouble. He didn't answer. She assumed it was because he had been smoking again. She patted Petal to make sure she wasn't harmed. She appeared to be fine. However, Lainey had torn some of the leather daisies and stretched the bridle. She'd have to spend the night making a new one. They had to get through the talent round tomorrow. Lainey walked around checking the crates. The cash register was ready for tomorrow's talent contest, unharmed. Can she really use that? Max asked. The cash register? Sure. It took a few years to teach her. Now she loves it. She pulled out a sewing machine, card table, and folding chair and got to work fixing the costume, and Max went about his work. Every once in a while, she could feel some chill air coming from the late night outside. Meanwhile, she worked away at the new bridle and the tiny daisies. She looked up to see a man wandering around the pens, taking photos of the pigs. She didn't see Max anywhere. The man spotted her and waved. Hey there, I'm so glad to run into someone. He showed a pass he had around his neck. Press in bold letters. I was supposed to be here earlier today and get some news. Any chance I could ask you some questions? She rubbed her tem temples but nodded. Why are you here? He asked. I'm hoping to win. At the end of the pageant, I have a buyer for Petal. If I win, her price goes up. Plus, I get the prize. You mean you don't keep the pig? No. So what happens to her? Probably end up in someone's freezer. She could sense his surprise. Most pigs and steers raised through 4-H end up on the butcher's table. Only livestock raised for breeding end up in herds. It's just the way it is. I guess I just thought they ended up as pets somehow. So what will you do with the money? I'm an artist, not a farmer. I want to get out of this town, get my own place, and start somewhere else. I've been saving, but this last amount is just what I need. You look pretty young to be on your own. I'm 18, old enough. Can I take a photo of you and your sewing machine? Sure. Thanks. You might just see yourself in the paper tomorrow. Throughout the rest of the night, she saw a few owners come in and check on their pigs. Max wandered by a few times, and her friend Rebecca came in to check on her pig, Sir Pigsalot. Lainey was done by morning. The bridal looked even better than the first one. She wandered the grounds for a bit, gobbled up a burrito and coffee from the food stand. Then it was time to get ready. She led Petal into the show pen and set out the cash register. Petal always liked doing a show and started her happy noises that sounded like womp, womp. Lainey put the pencil in, pen, in Petal's mouth, and to the audience's amazement, Petal walked up the short ramp to the register and began to push the buttons. 
Laney raised a $10 bill in the air and pretended to hand it to Petal. On cue, Petal selected the button that opened the drawer. It sprang open and clanged loudly. The crowd clapped and laughed, just what Laney was hoping for. Afterward, George McDonald was waiting for her. You drive a hard bargain, Laney. I didn't think she'd win, but I got your payment here for this prize pig. Laney led Petal up and into McDonald's trailer, patting her one last time. Hey, did you see today's newspaper? He handed it to her. He had it open to the page. Young artist hopes to leave her hometown. She shook her head. In the picture was an image of her smiling from her sewing machine. She looked a mess with her brown pile hair piled on her head and her tired eyes. She tossed it under Petal's feet and tucked the money in with the rest and climbed into her used VW. She grabbed her plush stuffed pig from the pile in the back of the car and set it next to her in the passenger seat. She was glad to see the fairgrounds shrink in her rear view mirror. Yeah. <laughs>